Hello there everyone. Um, this is our review of the Tamron AF70 to 300 mm f4 to 5.6 DILD macro telescopic lens. Um, the version we've got with us today is the fitting for the Canon, um, although it is also made for Nikon, Pentax and Sony. Um, I've got the Canon here because I use Canon camera myself, um, so I could actually test this lens. Um, the pricing of this lens is for um, beginners or on the budget end of the scale. In fact, I think this may be one of the cheapest telescopic lens on the market. Um, it could be had for around about £90, which is hundreds less than others you're going to be fined. So let's open it up and have a look. Um, this isn't a true unboxing. Like I say, I have had the lens out and tested it already. Um, this is to show you what is included. So get your little uh, manuals and everything there, information about the lens, it's your five year warranty included, very nice, uh, lens hood included, lovely addition there, and of course the lens itself, okay where to begin, um, the Tamron lens has been around for quite a while now, um, it's not a new lens by any means and neither is the technology in it. Um, it's still very popular, mostly because of the price. Um, most people who first start out in photography or just getting used to a digital SLR camera, they use the kit lens for a while, start to get frustrated with the limitations of those focal lengths and then want to test something else. So the Tamron really is a great lens for those that are looking for their first telescopic lens or something to try out. Um, I think when people get bored of the focal lengths of their kit lens, um, a telescopic lens just gives them that extra distance, especially when you're first starting out in photography um, and you have all these aspirations of taking photos of beautiful birds and bugs and flowers and things that might get spooked if you get a bit close to them. Telescopic lens is brilliant at uh, making it feel like you're just inches away when you can be really, really far away, especially with um, a lens up to 300 meters, uh, millimeters. Another sorry. benefit of the Tamron is the macro feature that's included here. So not only are you getting the benefit of a telescopic lens for those sporting events or those far away creatures, but also for the close up and detail that you want to capture. So if you're taking photos of bugs or of flowers, you've got the macro feature there. We'll talk about the functionality of that a little more, a little bit more in a minute. Um, so it is quite a small and lightweight telescopic lens um, compared to others on the market, but that's probably a reflection of the price. Um, it is made from plastic as well, again a reflection of the price, but it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel flimsy, it's very solidly put together. Um, um, whilst I say it's lightweight for a telescope lens, it has still got that bit of weight to it that makes it feel solid and reliable. Um, even though that has got a plastic connection on here, when you're connecting it to your camera, you never feel like it's a loose connection. It feels as good as any metal connection I've seen before. So if we actually pop that on, it's got a nice click in there and it feels nice and solid. There's absolutely no wobble or shake to that nice solid connection so that's nice um, when using the camera it can take a little bit of getting used to because especially if you're a Canon user the lens actually twists in the opposite direction for the zoom um, so if you're quickly trying to capture a shot that might catch, catch you out but once you've used it a couple of times you do get used to that you might have noticed a little bit of stick there it is quite a stiff zoom um, you need to use quite a firm hand to get a smooth movement to it and it does take a little bit of getting used to. Um, again, probably something that's a reflection of the price because they've had to build it quite tight to give it that nice solid feeling. Um, on the other hand, focusing ring, nice and smooth, I like that. Um, and the, focus, the manual focusing on this is excellent, so we'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment as well. Tamron does come with auto focusing included. So if we flick it on, you can see the camera looking there. Now, this is one of my few bugbears with this lens, even for the cost. It's got quite a slow autofocus on there. 
it spends quite a while searching so if you're looking to take a shot quickly or looking to react to something quickly the autofocus probably isn't going to be what you want to use having said all of that the manual focus on this is excellent um, now some beginners might be a little bit nervous about manual focus and maybe they've not done it before I'd say go for it give it a try and if you're ever going to try it this is the lens to do it on it is so easy to use um, so it actually ends up being a bit of a hidden bonus in the fact that you purchase a lens thinking it's a beginner lens and end up learning from it um, and actually picking up new skills in this manual focusing um, and when you do you get lovely sharp images from it so you get the lens hood included now when I was testing this camera I kept the lens hood on at all times um, and I had absolutely no issues with light or light flares at all so this did a really good job of shielding the front end of the camera. I've always been a fan of round lens hoods compared to the tulip shaped ones. Um, I just feel like they give a more telescopic feel and even distribution to the light that's coming into the camera. Um, one thing to mention about the focusing while we're talking about that is the fact that when in autofocus, the front end actually turns. Um, this isn't going to be a problem for most people unless you're using a polarizing filter in which case that might get annoying as you won't know which way up you're facing by the time you've now moving on to the macro feature you can only use the macro between the focal lengths of 180 to 300 now in order to set the macro you first need to set your focal lens and then flick it across to macro once you're in that range you can't come out of it until you've flicked it back now this might seem odd to people doing this for the first time but once you've done it once or twice it becomes second nature and it really isn't an issue it's a slight bugbear for me just because I'm not entirely sure why they've made it that you can't flick in and out of it um, but it's not a huge problem either and I'm just going to flash up a couple of photos that I took with that macro function now to show the benefit you can get with that function Now, one problem with this camera is that it doesn't come with image stabilization. Now, when you're looking at the full length of the lens, it is quite long. So when you're in the 300 millimeter, it does bounce around a little bit. Now, I took this out for a test on the weekend and it was a lovely sunny day and I was shooting a sporting event, meaning I was using a very fast shutter speed. Um, and I produced some lovely sharp images and didn't have any problems from the lack of image stabilization. My fear is that if you're shooting early in the morning or late at night when the light is going to be a bit dimmer, you're probably going to have to use a slower shutter speed and that shake will creep in and you get a little bit less sharpness and a bit more blur to your images. So that could pose a problem for people wanting to do early morning or late night shots. Obviously you're unlikely to be using a telescopic lens indoors, so that shouldn't pose a problem. All in all, the Tamron is an excellent lens for the price. It's by no means the best on the market, but for an introduction to a telescopic lens, it's perfect. It does exactly what you need it to, and it's the output that matters, and it's the photos that you take that really matter. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you're looking for any more reviews or tips, uh, please visit our website techviewed.com or subscribe to this channel for future reviews. Thank you.